40 millilitres of concentrated nitric acid in a 1 litre borosilicate flask. Round bottoms is preferable as you can see the reaction better, but if you need to get a thick walled borosilicate flask, a Buchner flask may be a suitable alternative. Immediately we begin to form NO2 gas above the copper nitrate that's formed. I've got a delivery tube here that's feeding into a 1 litre flask of water. The glass wall is there to minimise diffusion of any of the toxic NO2 that doesn't dissolve, and as such you can perform this experiment without the use of the fume cover. As the reaction cools, the gases inside the flask will contract, drawing some water back from the conical flask. This is where additional steps have been taken to minimise risk. There's a small chance that the reaction flask can be damaged by the rapidly changing temperatures which follow the addition of the water. As such, if this experiment is performed in the open lab, both students and the demonstrators should be protected by safety screens. A trough or bowl is placed underneath to contain the mixture in case of any leaks. I've placed a small LED light in mine to help the camera pick up the colours. Vediamo in questa 